hizi mbona nilikuwa zimeweka ni kama zimepangwa tayari eh hizi nilikuwa zimeweka ni kama zimepangwa Hello, hello. So, I've been busy the whole week. That's why I've not uploaded any video. Because as you can see, there's a lot of work that is happening uh, in readiness for the slab up here, which I told you last week that I'm going to do a slab up here. So, I've been very, very busy bringing materials and doing one, two, three things. Uh, to make sure that this happens so I usually finish in the evening very tired I eat and sleep so I've not edited uh, the videos for what has been happening I even traveled home and came back so I only showed you a video of me traveling home even the home videos I've not uh, edited them and uploaded them and I'm going to do that but this one has to come first because this one is e easier to show you that there's a progress that is happening and this time round up here I'm going to use I used hollow blocks if you can see they are hollow blocks but the slab that is now uh, of the second floor covering the first floor is going to have hollow blocks but of a different kind uh, which the uh, we don't use trappers so uh, come along and watch ah mutungi mulitoa hapa maji imekuja maji imekuja eh mutungi mlipeleka wapi today is a very hectic hectic day so they are still up here going on with the steel work doing the beams because with the with the hollow blocks that we are using uh, there are no trappers but there are beams special beams that are being used i'll show you uh, uh, later outside here let me go up there are special beams that are used without trappers let me go up oh Hey, <laughs> 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 So these are the blocks that we are going to use, the ones that are outside there. These ones are different, they have a groove where uh, the beam, special beam, there are, one, the, there are a few of them that I left on the road, I don't know whether you can see those ones, because the vehicle that brought them, could it go beyond them? So the beams are used with these hollow blocks and they are not trappers.
So the form work, form work had started while I was at home. Uh, that is on Friday and Saturday last week. Then we were to make an order for the hollow blocks and the beams because they are made custom. In the last video, I told you that this time around I'm using hollow blocks, which are not these ones up here. These ones are so not are also not uh, bad, but this time around I'm using the ones uh, uh, I've shown you. These ones and uh, these ones don't use trappers but they use the special uh, beams which have to be precast somewhere and then delivered so the formwork started while i was away i was uh, at home and um i came i found they have done the formwork so uh, i've been working with the delivery of the hollow blocks and uh, the special beams so today we started in the morning with the the steel work now which is uh, going on they're doing steel work uh, up here for the beams and these ones they only do the steel work for only the main big beams and the stairs so in between there is no uh, there's no steel work except now the hollow blocks and the special beams that are already precast with r6 this is the first time I'm, I'm using this, but it's a current technology that is being used uh, um, with many contractors. It's not me alone. So uh, we're going to do it. There's a professional who is going to come tomorrow uh, and do them. I'm hopeful that steel work is going to be done by, by today. They will tie all the beams. And if there's something maybe remaining, they'll do it uh, uh, tomorrow and finish up then we will do the services services include plumbing and uh, and um, electrical work the ones that they put before the slab is done because now we are going to do still a concrete slab on top of the hollow blocks but it's very small it's not like the one where you do steel and then full concrete which takes a lot of ballast and uh, cement and the other the sand but this one is going to take less sand, less cement, less um, uh, ballast. And it saves time and the money. The only thing that has been challenging us, that has been challenging me, is the rain. You know, this time is when we have the long rains in uh, this side of Africa. Uh, I don't know about other places, but uh, in East Africa mostly, this is the time we have the uh, long rains. And we have, don't have good roads that connect to these places that we build. So this uh, gives us a challenge in terms of uh, uh, delivery of materials. So we have been postponing some of the delivery of materials because of the rains. When it has rained too much, I've had to deal with cases where some vehicles uh, get stuck in the mud and we take very many hours to remove them from there. So that has been the challenge. Otherwise, we could have been done with the slab by like uh, five days ago. But because of the rains, but I'm hopeful uh, that we are going to finish this well because uh, yesterday and today it has not rained. If you look outside, uh, the sun is still out and I doubt whether you can see and I doubt whether it's going to rain today. So if it doesn't rain today, it means that's, uh, that's uh, uh, good for us to do the work. Now, tomorrow we're going now to put the, after they have done this steel work, tomorrow we're going to put the blocks blocks up here and it's going to be a heavy tax task moving the blocks up because we are going to start i think with the beams then the the blocks and the beams are very heavy i tried to uh to offload them from the vehicle that brought them with the other guys yeah they were very heavy and the blocks the blocks also are very they are not so heavy but uh they really injured me if you look at my hand i don't know whether you can see have bruises all over that were caused by the blocks uh, i even feel pain trying to fold my hand like this even eating is a problem i eat with a, a a fork and a knife which is something that people from you know the western uh, world like doing but for us africans we like eating with the hands now when you eat with the hands and the hands are full of bruises like mine you see bruises 
it makes me feel um, the pain of the, you know, uh, hot food. And, uh, you know, I, like me, I like spices like, you know, chili, pepper, and uh, how do you call this? Salt. So it makes a lot of pain. So I've been using uh, a fork and knife and, you know, uh, for the past like two days. But that doesn't matter. That's part of the work. Uh, and don't ask me why I didn't use gloves. Uh, because I didn't have. Uh, and I didn't even feel the pain until I finished doing the work. And who? So I'm going to end this video here because I've been, been I've been busy uh, doing other things. So tomorrow I'll also show you the progress on how we are doing the, the uh, installation of the blocks, how we will uh, put them up, the beams, and all those things. Then they will come now the electrician and the plumber. Then they do their own thing. And uh, we do the slab. Please like this video, subscribe, comment, even share. It will mean a lot to me. Thank you.